So um, we live in an increasingly tribal world, don't we? And um, there are many who are fearful of this uh, tribalism, thinking that uh, it means that those who shout loudest and longest are going to win. Uh, and I'm very much in tune with that. It seems to me that a tribal world uh, is genuinely a frightening one, uh, in which those who happen to be on the side of the tribal majority are able to impose what they wish uh, on everyone else, and uh, in which we might become increasingly attached to our tribes and fall ever more into fighting each other. So I'm very much on the side of thinking that uh, this tribal world is a worrying one. But I am not in any way tempted to think that I should reach or we should reach for truth as a solution to this problem. And that's because it seems to me that the history of the 20th century has been the history of seeing a retreat from the idea of truth with a capital T, that objective truth, that thing that is somehow independently there and outside of us. And that's because we become increasingly aware of the importance of our perspective. That might be a linguistic perspective, it could be a cultural perspective, it could be a temporal perspective, it could be just that we're human but we become ever more aware of the perspectival character of our knowledge. And with that, the idea that then we might find some ultimate uh, position which could see how things ultimately were seems to be ever more implausible. In fact, it seems to me the idea of philosophical realism is effectively dead. It's over. There isn't a way back to it. So the question is, what do we do about that? Well, I think one of the first things is to uh, see language and our theories about the world not as descriptions of how the world is, but as tools to be able to intervene in the world. What we do with our theories is to create ways to uh, hold the world which enable us to intervene successfully. And in the same way as if we have a... Um, I don't know, any, any tool, say a mouse trap. And um, there are better and worse mouse traps, but there isn't a true one, is there? And so it seems to me it is with language and our accounts of the world. It's just a mistake to imagine that they might be true. Now, at the moment, socially, I think we're at the situation where we're potentially of having the worst of all worlds. That is, on the one hand, we have increasingly come to accept alternative perspectives and encourage the idea of different perspectives, but we're still somehow attached to this religious, almost religious belief in truth and the real. And just as some people have given up on the idea of God as a human fiction, I think we've got to give up on the notion of the real and true as a human fiction as well. But that doesn't mean to say that we can just let anything go. I think we have to redouble our, our <clears throat> attachment to the rational and to observation in order to improve our tools, in order to improve our ways of holding the world. And just a last thought at this stage. For those of you who are feeling just a little disappointed that we might have to give up on this idea of the real and the true. I mean, that is of course what um, our, uh, those uh, who in the medieval period wanted to hold to a notion of God, and uh, indeed more recently, they felt they were losing something by giving up this uh, fiction. And in the same way, many of you may feel, well, I, I don't want to give up on the idea of the real. It somehow makes sense of what I'm up to. But I'd like just to re-sort of situate that for you. Instead of thinking that you're giving up on the idea that there's something out there which you're never going to get to anyway and people have always disagreed about and you can't get there, think of the world as being open. And what you do and what we do is we close the world with our metaphors. We close it um, to make sense of it. And there's no limit to the number of ways we can close it. There's no limit to the ways in which we can intervene to hopefully make the world a better place. 
and we can make those tools that we create in order to intervene better by those traditional enlightenment methods of reason and observation. For more debates, talks and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI TV.